2011 was a very busy year for you for the United Way of West Alabama and all their member agencies across our viewing area. And in light of today's outbreak of terrible storms, it looks like 2012 is going to be very busy as well. Here to tell us more is Fran Riley from the United Way of West Alabama. Fran, thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, uh, have you already started getting some calls from people or is... Uh, the requests for aid and assistance, are you already receiving them? We are. We've already gotten some phone calls today from our 2 one information referral line, and they had a um, national conference call today to decide um, who is going to handle um, the calls. A lot are coming into our 2 one Some are being referred to um, the Birmingham area, but um, we're already getting calls for assistance, people wanting to know how they can volunteer and help. And, um, you know, unfortunately this time um, we are a little bit more prepared since uh, we did just go through this in April. So we're, we're kind of prepared and, and know who to direct some of these callers to. Absolutely. At least you got experience. I mean, terrible <laughs> way to get it. But, hey, you know, if, if there's going to be somebody to help somebody with tornado stuff, it may as well be people out of Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Because we've all lived it. Uh, you guys have been super busy for the past four or five months raising money. So I guess that's a good thing. Yes. Where are you at with that? It is. Well, we had our goal this year was $3 million, and we actually raised $3,168,565. Wow. Yeah, it was really amazing. We were we were coming up on it, and we thought we were going to hit the goal, and then at the very end, kind of in the heat of the moment, we had some people come in, and, and some Publix was one of our big donors that came in way above what we had uh, projected them to. So... We went over it nicely, and, and that's a really good thing. It, it feels really good to be able to tell our agencies that we're going to be able to not only make them whole from last year, maybe even give them a little bit of an increase since a lot of them are, are in need of one right now. Absolutely. And, and again, in light of today's events, mm -hmm. uh, I guess they'll be sorely needed. Uh, you and I were talking uh, during the break a little bit. Now, an agency that hasn't seen a whole lot of change, the United Way, yes. is about to have some pretty significant changes. Talk to me yes, about that. Yes, we are. They are currently in the process of finding us um, a new executive director, which we're told is going to be very soon. We'll know who that is. So that's going to be a change for us. We also have picked up two new agencies. We've got um, Sickle Cell, and we also have Arts with Autism. So we're really excited about having them fall under our umbrella and, and helping them raise some funds because those are two outstanding organizations. All right, super. Fran, anything else you'd like for the folks at home to know? Um, just uh, let them know that we appreciate um, the community support last year. We were so thrilled that we went over our goal, and this community just never seems to surprise us that when times are tough, they step up and go above and beyond what they, what they would do. So we're just so thankful to all of our volunteers and to all the people who donated money to help us sustain this wonderful community. All right, super. Fran, thank you so thank much. Thank you. You can find out more about all the services the United Way of West Alabama provides by dialing 211. For more information, call 205-345-6640, or you can learn more online at uwwa.org.